I think one big trend which has definitely been triggered by COVID is that we are going to see shifting patterns in terms of the location of retail. So I think we're going to see massive relocalization of retail. So through the kind of 70s and 80s, our local communities were gutted as local businesses sort of closed down in the face of competition from these big kind of retail parks um, and kind of big box retail. And I believe now that with more and more people living and working locally, they're wanting to invest in, be part of and support uh, local community and local businesses. So we're definitely going to see a really, really big change there. I think the other change that we're going to see is really a, a reinvention of the high street away from this purely sort of undifferentiated consumption, shopping based model to actually much more of an entertainment and experience type model. So there's no two ways about it. We cannot continue to consume at the rate at which we are and to have our kind of number one national or global pastime be shopping, buying things, the lion's share of which is in landfill within a few years. So we're going to have to move towards a much more services and experience based economy. And I think there's great potential to reinvent a lot of spaces kind of on our high street and in our local communities to provide people with those those experiences whether it be around kind of the arts or drama or music or what we you know whatever whatever it might be absolutely and um, i mean we we recently spoke of how innovation has had such a positive role in these existential crises that we face um in the realm of retail however at least personally, it feels like e-commerce has to some degree almost accelerated the degree to which we indulge in shopping. Now, how do you think that we can pivot the enormous revolution we've seen with e-commerce and retail to sort of make it a bit more social and mitigate the issues that come with something like this? Well, I, again, I think we're going to see sort of a um, bifurcation of the retail experience and anyone who's kind of left in the middle is going to be in trouble. So there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that consumption that we sort of think of as if it's a utility. And that's where all these sort of, you know, groceries delivered within 10 minutes and Amazon Prime is really playing. It's that sort of utility based shopping experience. And then at the other end of the spectrum, there's going to be um, a much more indulgent experience of retail, which I think is all about provenance and really engaging and building relationship with that brand, feeling like you're invested in it and you own it and um, you're kind of really uh, very excited by it and aligned with it. And I think that businesses, retail businesses that get stuck in that middle land are going to be in for a tough time. <laughs>